Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to The Artist Influence. It's Brian back again with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that's not totally in the business aspect of dance. Um, it's something more that goes into your mentality and how you approach your career over time. And it's just how you stay inspired. How you're able to keep that inspiration you had at the first time you danced, the first time you really pursued your career, the way you felt, that hungriness you felt when you started. How to keep that going throughout your career in spite of all the downs and the ups and the curves that the road throws your way. And it's really tough. A lot of us uh, falter, a lot of us get rejection in the industry. It's a, it's a fact of life when you enter the commercial dance world that rejection is just the name of the game and you're gonna get hundreds and hundreds of no's before you get a yes. And it's how do you deal with that and how do you push through that and how do you connect with something in yourself that keeps you inspired and that continues to give you this flow of energy to push you through all the benchmarks in your career. So a couple ways that you can do that and cultivate inspiration in yourself is to get outside of the studio. I mean, so much of us just spend so much time in the studio taking class all day, every day, and that's crucial. Training is crucial, but you gotta live life too. And life is what's gonna inform your art. So the experiences you allow yourself to have and the relationships you go through in life, like I was talking in my last video about playing characters and how you use your life experiences to inform why you're dancing and your intention behind your movement. It's the same thing with staying inspired. You have to live life, you have to enjoy life, you have to go through ups and downs, you have to have heartbreaks and all these things to use as fuel to put into your art. So at the beginning of all of our dance careers and, and, and when all of us start, we put a lot of focus on training and a lot of focus on working on skill sets. But eventually, it's gotta be about more than that. It's gotta be about what your dancing is standing for, what your art is gonna stand for, and what kind of message you wanna put out there to the world. So one way that you can stay inspired and become inspired in the first place is to get connected to why you're doing this and what your voice is and what change or what impact you want to make with your dance and in your career. And I know that's, an, that's a question that not a lot of us think about in the commercial world that much because we're so used to just dancing behind artists and being silhouettes in music videos and kind of disposable parts of a production. But the quicker you can be in tune with something inside yourself and some type of reason that you're doing this and something you want to give the world outside of just dancing in a music video, the quicker you're going to be able to stay inspired in spite of all the negatives that are going to come your way. Another way to stay inspired is to read, <laughs> to, to gain knowledge, to teach yourself, to continue learning. Um, there's a quote that says, if you're not growing, you're dying, and I really believe in that. If you're not constantly pushing to learn more and to reach out into different areas of the arts, you know, maybe you're interested in photography, Maybe you're interested in videography, maybe you're interested in choreography, maybe you're interested in acting or dancing or becoming a triple threat. All of those things can give you inspiration to put back into your dance and continue to push you through and push you forward. So, you know, just whenever you guys are going through those down times and those times where, you know, things are not working out or, or nothing's panning out for you and you feel like, you know, all hope is lost and it's like, what am I doing? I put all these years into this profession, I haven't gotten anything back, you have to connect with all of the things that you've gotten back that you can't put a price tag on. Because let's be honest, life, when you die, you're going to be buried and you can't take anything with you. Right? The only thing you take with you is your memories. So I think as a whole in the dance industry, we need to become a little bit less focused on the goal. I want to book that world tour. I want to dance in that music video. I want to dance in that commercial. And get more connected to who you have to become as a person to even achieve that goal in the first place. Because that's the key, and that's why you're dancing in the first place. It's about transforma transformation, and it's about growth over time. So if you can get connected to that instead of, I want to post a picture on Instagram because I did this cool gig, it's going to help you worlds, worlds, worlds to conduct yourself better over time in your career.